Longtime Montreal Canadian defenseman Andre Markov has announced his retirement, and the St. Louis Blues have signed defenseman Marco Scandella to an extension. How will this impact the future of captain Alex Petrangelo? Will the Blues be able to re sign him? We'll discuss all the latest news coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. We have some news from the NHL this evening that I wanted to discuss. First up, longtime Montreal Canadian defenseman Andre Markov has announced his retirement from professional hockey. Now Markov came just shy of playing 1,000 career games. It's really unfortunate he was never able to get that under his belt during his time in the NHL. He played 990 games, so he's 10 games short. Of course, he played for a long time for the Montreal Canadiens. All 990 of those games were in a Habs uniform, and he had a hard time coming to a new contract agreement with the Habs the last few years and ended up playing the last three seasons over in the KHL. Uh, obviously, he's getting up there in years into his early 40s now. Not quite the same player he was before, but still was a very useful player, even at the end of his tenure with Montreal. I really thought there would be an opportunity for him to at least go back on a short-term deal, uh, but him and Mark Bergevin could not come to terms on an agreement. Not really sure if he wanted more term, if it was money, or what the issues were, but it never came to be. Even after he went to the KHL, there were numerous rumors about him returning to the NHL, uh, usually on a yearly basis. Uh, none of them worked out. He ended up not getting a contract, even though he did try. Uh, and ended up staying over in the KHL. And, of course, their season has now been canceled due to everything going on with COVID-19. Of course, the NHL is on pause, hoping to resume. But Markov is at a point where he's ready to call it a career. Of course, Markov put up 572 points, as I mentioned, over 990 games over many seasons in Montreal. Uh, was a long time, pretty offensive defenseman, pretty good in the power play. I know at one point, him and P.K. Subban formed a pretty good defense pair on the back end for Montreal. Uh, he's certainly going to go down as one of the better defensemen in recent Montreal history. Uh, I'd like to wish him well into his retirement. Now, as I mentioned as well, St. Louis Blues have announced another contract extension for another defenseman. This time, Marco Scandella, who they acquired near the NHL trade deadline, has been signed to a four-year contract extension. The contract value is $3.275 million per season. Now, of course, Marco Scandella played for three NHL teams last year. He started the year with the Buffalo Sabres, where he had played for the past few seasons after being traded there from the Minnesota Wild. He was then traded from Buffalo to the Montreal Canadiens partway through the season, and then traded from Montreal to St. Louis at the deadline. Now, Montreal did get a second round pick and a conditional fourth. One of the conditions on that fourth was if he re-signed with St. Louis, then they would give that pick up. So, of course, Montreal will now receive that 2021 fourth round selection since he's inked a new deal with St. Louis. So, as much as this is a little bit puzzling in my opinion here, I mean, Scandella only played 11 games with St. Louis. They're already tight to the cap. They already have a lot of defensemen signed beyond the current season and well, even beyond next season. And their longtime uh, tenured defenseman and captain, Alex Petrangelo remains a pending UFA, and there really hasn't been any news on a new contract uh, anytime recently. Of course, they had acquired Justin Falk before the beginning of the season and immediately inked him to a seven-year deal. Uh, that also began to draw a lot of questions around Petrangelo's future. And now they have Scandella locked up as well. So let's take a quick look at their cap situation on their blue line with the St. Louis Blues here. They're certainly going to be really tough, if not impossible, for Petro to return. So as we can see here, right now they have on the right side, they have Colton Pareko uh, signed for two more years at $5.5 He's currently 26 years old, so that's a pretty good contract. And it's fair to say Pareko is going to be getting a raise of some kind when that term comes up. He's been a very solid member of that back end for the Blues. Of course, as I mentioned, they acquired Justin Falk right before the season started and immediately re-upped him for seven years at $6.5 million and gave him a no-trade clause. I also thought that deal was a little odd. And not to say that they wouldn't have wanted to re-sign Falk. Obviously, they acquired him. I don't blame them for wanting to keep him around for a while, but to give him the max deal seven years like that and a no-trade clause, or a full no-trade clause at that for the first five years, the final two years, it's a modified no-trade, but... Still, that's a hefty amount of term and money, uh, and Falk is going to be uh, 28 years old as of right now. So it just seems like a lot, in my opinion. I'm not sure Justin Falk 
is really worth that much. And they also have Robert Bertuzzo on the right side. He's got one more year left at one and three quarter million. Uh, he's 31 years old. That's not so bad. Not a long term. Bertuzzo sometimes ends up being the extra defenseman. It just depends. Uh, on the left side, they have to sign Vince Dunn as well. He's a pending restricted free agent and he's played very well. And he could be a big part of the future for the blue line. So personally, Vince Dunn is going to be a high priority for the Blues going forward. Uh, they also have Carl Gunnarsson on the left side as well, signed for one more year at 1.75. And of course, they have Marco Scandella, who we're discussing here on a new contract extension. Otherwise, for guys that could be possibly, you know, that number six, seven defenseman, if they made any other changes on there, they have Scott Perenovich, who they just signed uh, coming out of college hockey, he was the Hobie Baker winner, had a pretty solid college career, making the jump to pro hockey. Not sure if he'll go straight to the NHL or need some seasoning. Otherwise, they have a few other defensemen, like an Andreas Borgman or Jake Wallman, who might be able to get some NHL time on a cheaper contract if the Blues need uh, to shed some salary and, you know, get a cheaper guy back. Back there, but either way, Marco Scandella only played 11 games with them. He played for three different teams. Like he's an okay defenseman. I don't have any problems with him. I mean, he played well in Montreal too while he was there. And there was even a lot of talk that they may try to re-sign him as a free agent in the summertime. Clearly, that is not going to happen. He's now staying in St. Louis, and it's not even so much that the Blues re-upped him, but they gave him four years. Uh, at, at the kind of money that they did, I think it's a little bit much. And it really boxes them out of being able to retain their captain. They now have 19 contracts in place for next year at $78.5 million. Originally, the cap was projected at 84. If it remains at 81 and a half, that does not leave very much room to sign Petrangelo. Plus, like I said, they also need to sign Vince Dunn. Uh, they do have a few other contracts they could sign. They have more than enough forwards currently on their roster. Like we know guys like, for example, Troy Brower won't return. Uh, they might be able to part ways with a guy like Jacob De La Rose, for example. Uh, but they're going to have to shed some big time salary if they're going to have any shot at all at keeping their captain in the fold here longer term. Now, obviously, because of the salary cap and everything going on with the league and the season being paused, uh, you know, teams might not be spending as much and Petrangelo may not get as much money regardless of where he goes. But I can't imagine he's going to take, you know, a super cheap deal on a short term to remain with the Blues. Right now, uh, based on their current situation, without making some drastic moves, that's all they'd be able to offer. I mean, clearly they could look to maybe a guy like Alex Steen, who's going to go one year left. Could they maybe consider a buyout for him? Could a guy like Jake Allen be traded? Clearly, Jordan Bennington is their goalie of the future. They're making similar money. Uh, Bennington's going to need a raise after this year. Uh, Allen has one more year left on his deal as well. That could be a way to free up some money. Uh, that could very well be a strong possibility as well. They have some other goalies in the minors who they might be able to get to fill in. Uh, like a Vili Husso, for example, might be able to be ready. I'm not sure if he's completely at that point yet to be the backup goaltender in St. Louis. But either way, this team is going to have to shed some big-time salary to keep Petrangelo. And it just seems puzzling why all these other players with the Blues seem to be getting deals done. But yet there's no talk about their captain in this contract situation. You can't help but wonder, is his future pretty much all but signed, sealed, and delivered? Will he definitely be hitting the UFA market? And where will he end up if not in St. Louis? I, there's been lots of talk and rumors around this player and lots of links to the Leafs. And personally, I don't know if that could really happen. I don't see a way the Leafs could afford him again without them shedding a bunch of salary either. So I'm not really sure what this is going to all mean for St. Louis, but it's certainly putting themselves in a very awkward position and they make it very difficult to retain their captain. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Does Petrangelo find a way to stay in St. Louis? Or is this signing pretty much seal his fate that he's going to end up moving on after this season ends, whatever happens here, with either it's resumed or canceled or whatever happens with the current NHL season? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and we'll continue the conversation. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications. We're posting daily. Even though the NHL season's on pause, you can still come to Top Shelf Hockey on a daily basis for your fixer hockey talk. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.